What's up guys? We're here in Brazil because today I'm talking about how to fight Laura. So the most notable thing about Laura is that she has a command throw. So obviously like any other command throw, you can't tech the throw to get out of it. You're going to have to get out of the way. So if you scout a command throw, go ahead and neutral jump and you might want to practice a good combo that you can land after neutral jumping a command throw. But most Lauras aren't going to do the command throw raw like that. Usually they're going to tick into it. So that was her light punch elbow attack. And this is probably the most used move by Laura players. So they'll do that and then they'll either command throw you or stick a button out. But something important to note about this attack is that it's actually minus two on block. So similar to Bison's scissor kicks, after you block this, it's essentially your turn. You can stick a button out after, and you'll interrupt whatever she does. So here you can see I interrupt the command throw, or uh, if we set her to jab after, it'll interrupt the jab too. So don't let Laura get away with pressuring you after you block the elbow. Uh, go ahead and take your turn, essentially. Now, note that this doesn't apply if you get hit. If you get hit by the elbow, you're at plus frames. Or, Laura's at plus frames. So if you're trying to stick anything out after you get hit by the elbow, you're going to get counter hit. So once you block it, then you can take your turn. Uh, another important move of note for Laura is her V skill, which does this overhead kick. And if you get hit by the V skill, you're even. Uh, so generally, you don't really want to contest because Laura will probably be able to counter hit you. Uh, but if you block the V-Skill, she's actually minus a lot and you can get a really big punish. So if you scout out the V-Skill, go ahead and take a big punish on her and make her pay for throwing it out randomly. And finally, we have her target combo, which a lot of people like to pressure with. It's medium punch into medium kick. And once again, like a lot of things in this game, it's safe, but it's minus two. So after you block it... Again, you can take your turn. Don't let her get away with trying to pressure you after blocking it. But once again, if you get hit by it, Laura has the advantage. So be careful not to press any buttons after that. You're pretty much going to have to take the mix up between attacks or her command throw. So Laura can be really explosive up close, but uh, you know generally you have to be paying attention. Know when it's your turn to attack, basically, uh, and you should be able to get the round back in your favor. So hopefully you guys found this helpful. Thanks for watching and good luck out there.